Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm gonna to talk about the benefits of cervical traction with pressure points. So let's get started. So some of the benefits of cervical traction can be to help relieve neck pain, of course. Um, if you have something like spondylitis or arthritis in your neck, that can help kind of relieve that tightness and tension in there. Um, it's also great for herniated discs, a pinched nerve, if you're getting some of that nerve pain down your arm. Um, it can also help relieve tension headaches um, and even sometimes TMJ pain. So cervical traction is great. If you've uh, ever tried it in a clinic, you might um, have gotten into this kind of big machine and it hooks you up into your neck and kind of pulls everything and it's a mechanical thing and sometimes it's loud. But the great thing is a lot of times you can do cervical traction at home with home treatment. And always with cervical traction, you want to check with your doctor or your physical therapist to make sure it's appropriate for you. The best option is to actually have it done by a professional first and make sure it's appropriate because for some things it works great, but sometimes it's uh, not indicated. So make sure that it's something that's right for you. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the cervical traction with Canuda. And so uh, this is their Canuda head nap. And so what's really neat about this product is it was engineered by physical therapists. So not only are you getting the cervical traction component, but you're also um, getting something that simulates what you would get as manual traction from a therapist in a clinic. And so a lot of times uh, when we're doing traction in a clinic, we might do the manual traction first just to see how your body reacts. And so uh, a lot of times it's not quite as stressful on your body as mechanical traction, but this is uh, an interesting way to be able to get those techniques if you have gone to physical therapy and found that it's really beneficial for you. And so uh, some of the pieces here on this cervical traction um, home treatment that might be different from other tractions that you've seen is there is a component here that gets the occipital base. They call it OCBR, which is the occipital cranial base release. And so that kind of helps put those pressure points on those muscles, right, that connect to the base of your head. That's the occipital area. And so by putting pressure on that specific spot, if you, again, if you've had the therapy for it, we kind of bring our, our fingers up underneath and put it right where those muscles kind of attach. And it helps release that tension and pressure. And so that's really neat there. They also have this, which they call CV4, which is basically the compression of the fourth uh, ventricle, which a lot of times has to do, has to do with your nervous system. And um, this treatment is kind of known to help release um, the, the stress and anxiety um, that's caused in the nervous system. And so that component is really unique to this as well. It's nice because this piece here also kind of help support the, the little bit lower into the thoracic area. And so when you're uh, lying down on it, it helps relieve the shoulders and kind of help correct that posture. So um, that's nice as well. It's also a dense foam. It's a little bit firmer to kind of help again get those pressure points. Um, you want to lie it down on a flat surface when you're laying on it or any kind of cervical traction. Um, this is where the head goes. This kind of goes down into the thoracic area. When you're lying down on it, um, you're going to bend up your knees. That just takes a little pressure off your back and kind of gets you into a comfortable position. So when you're lying down, you really want to kind of control your head into it. Don't just like crack down onto it. Um, my, my ponytail might be in the way just a little bit. So I'm going to kind of move it down some to get right into that spot. So when you're lying down here like this, you can see um, maybe that this uh, surface is a little bit more squishy. So you want it on a flat surface, the firmer the better, but I know some people can't get down on the floor. So just make sure it's as firm as you can get. So you want to be able to feel that it's kind of cradling your head a little bit. It shouldn't be a lot of pressure on there, but you want it to be um, comfortable and feel uh, some of that pressure putting in to help release that tension. If you get into this comfortable position and it's um, you know, nice and it's not painful, then you can bring your hands up into a stop sign position just to kind of get that help of that extra opening up, especially if you have something like a pinched nerve and um, that pain is going down into your arms and your hands. If you feel a little bit of tingling, that's okay. That's kind of working it. But if it's a lot or super uncomfortable, then just kind of bring your hands down to here. 
you don't want to use it as a pillow uh, when you're sleeping at night. This is more just to relieve that pressure. Um, they recommend about 15 minutes a day. But I would say if you haven't done it in a while, you know, if you've gone to physical therapy and you liked it, you want to try it. I'd start off with a little bit lower and build yourself up because a lot of times, especially when you're re uh, releasing those pressure points, you might be a little sore afterwards. A little bit of soreness is okay. That's just working those muscles out, but it should never be painful, painful while you're using it. So there you have it. Those were the benefits of cervical traction with pressure points. If you're interested in purchasing the Canuda head nap, click on the link up there and don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.